Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, it's Saturday morning. I'm on my way to a spinning class and I'm running kind of late. And there's a movie I want you to think about Moonraker, James Bond. There's a character in it called Jaws, really big guy, had teeth that were metal. He met this little bitty girl with blonde hair, pigtails, glasses, and braces. Yes, I said braces. She had braces. And in the movie now, she doesn't have braces. Oh my God. What in the hell is going on? I remember with braces. Not only do I remember with braces, but a hell of a lot of other people do. Now she doesn't have braces. So at the end of this clip, you'll see clips about Moonraker with braces. Look here, I'm at the OC. It don't take long to get there. <laughs> okay, um, man, I'm finding these Mandela effects all over the place. This one really has blew my mind. Um, watch it and see what you say. Put a comment in the in the box. Like this video and share and um, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do this Mandela effect when it's one that really like zaps me, you know. And this one, man, this one reached out and slapped me. This one just like said, "Pop, wake up, something fucking's happening." All right, check it out. See if you can notice the change in this unforgettable scene. If you missed it, here's a clue. You take Visa Mini? Yeah, this is yes. Good. I'm gonna get a few things. Yeah. Yes. Sign, telling me that this was love at last. If you remember Dolly having braces, give a thumbs up. Say this might be the smoking gun of the Mandela effect. Because not only has an iconic scene changed, but now with the changes it makes absolutely no sense. A link to the original video, which brought this to my attention shall be placed in the description. In this famous scene from Moonraker, the very tall man named Jaws, on the right, turns to see the blonde-haired woman named Dolly. The tall man is called Jaws, because of his sharp metal teeth. In the scene, 
He turns to see Dolly, and then she smiles and he sees that she has braces, and they both fall in love with each other. This was the reason for the connection between them. They both had braces of a type. It was the core thrust of the scene and the part at which the emotional connection between the two starts. But now Dolly, if you look back at the film today, no longer has any braces. And it makes no sense, not only in the mind of those that have seen the scene a thousand times, but also in terms of the story. Since braces, is what connects them both. Let's take a look. This was a famous scene from film history, and has been parodied many times. Let's take a look. You take Visa Mini? Yeah, this is, yes. Good, I'm gonna get a few things. Yeah. Yes. Sign, telling me that this was love and the disappearance of Dolly's braces has left many people confused, including die-hard fans of the Bond film. Let's take a look. What do you think is happening? Do you think everyone who watched the movie, are just misremembering something? Or do you think there is more going on? How could this famous scene change so much? Stay tuned and subscribe to Esoteric Detective. Listen to this review, uploaded to YouTube 7 years ago. Another element in the movie is Jaws, who returns from the last film, but while in The Spy Who Loved Me, Jaws was a ruthless killing machine who was genuinely threatening, in this film he just comes off as a buffoon, played more for laughs than anything. Later on in the movie he even gets a girlfriend, a goofy-looking broad with braces who turns around him around, and he wound up being a good guy. Let's hear he that again. Him. Later on in the movie he even gets a girlfriend, a goofy-looking broad with braces who... Notice in this newspaper... There is a period at the end of every sentence, with the exception of one, where it looks like the next words would read, and braces. Also the tone of white appears to be slightly off, compared to the white surrounding, as if someone has attempted to cover this up. If anyone has access to the original paper, please come back to post what you found. An amazing Spider-Man in with the Peter Parker the Spectacular Spider-Man series. This will not stand. Pardon me, but I wish to tender a serious cash offer for this stack of water-damaged little Lulus. <sighs> a, that is not water, it is Diet Mr. Pibb. And B, I... Ooh. virgins who still live with their parents. The name is Bond. James Bond.
Here's to us. Serious?